It can't get worse than this. The air quality index across Delhi and CR drastically dropped in the year 2017, reaching AQI of zero, pushing the entire national capital to the severe category. The poor air quality was also witnessed across various parts of India, leading millions residing in the country to a lot of medical uncertainty. And a very scary study that has come very recently from uh, in Delhi, from Dr. Chabra's study, which shows that now the children in Delhi and the polluted cities of India, they are growing with smaller lungs compared to the children in the United States. Now, if this does not shake people up, what will? And that's where the next story has to unfold, that whether we are prepared today to deal with this air pollution crisis. What we are going through is tremendously dangerous and which has a burden on both uh, the economy as well as the confidence of the citizens who are living in the country. What I have seen in the last 20 years, number of asthma cases have almost doubled, you know, almost doubled. The civility of asthma is far more than what I used to see earlier. The response to treatment is not as good as I would see earlier. So with better understanding of disease, with fantastic drugs available today, with, you know, possibly, I'll tell you, we've got more than 20 molecules to uh, treat or control asthma. I see asthmatics and control. So that's the effect of uh, environmental pollution. When environment gets polluted, it not only gives you allergic disorders, it gives you infections also. Adding to this mayhem, there is one critical aspect that needs to be addressed right away. Indoor air pollution. In 1992, the World Bank designated indoor air pollution in developing countries as one of the four most critical global environmental problems. And after more than two decades since then, this is the picture of the global world map. More than 9 out of 10 of the world's population, 92%, live in places where air pollution exceeds safe limits. Poor indoor air quality is the second largest killer with 1.3 million deaths in India each year. One in every four deaths of children under five is due to air pollution. So how grave is the problem? It's almost an epidemic if you ask me. Unfortunately, people are so used to breathing and they think that you know if they go out they will lose their immunity. Sad part is because we spend so much of our air time indoors, we sleep at home, we breathe, we sit in the office. The quality of air really impacts us. The quality of lungs of Indians is far worse than the quality of lungs of any person anywhere in the West. People in the West are recognizing that air is a problem indoors, but people in India who are having this grave problem unfortunately haven't. So the problem is, you know, seriously grave if you ask me. It's a very scary situation. Whether we have a smoking partner in the house who has smoked once and the effect can linger within uh, up to 24 to 36 hours in the air. Apart from that, many of our activities, daily routine activities, mundane like cooking, changing bed sheets, cushions, dusting, mopping, etc. can also uh, give a rise to dust particles. One of the worst things that we can do to ourselves is using mosquito repellents in a closed room. Many of the young parents I have seen have a mosquito repellent inside their house when their air condition is running. I can't tell you enough that in a normal situation, when you are sleeping in a closed room with your air condition on, your carbon dioxide concentration can rise up to 1500 to 2000 micrograms per cubic meter, which is very, very high and very, very harmful to the small toddler or the infant that you have in the room. The disease called COPD, if, if we are aware, it is something called as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The incidence of this is rising. From west to our country, if we see, the onset of the disease in most of the western countries is 45 years and above. So you see that somewhere around 45 and 50 this disease comes up. In our country, it comes up 10 years earlier. That means COPD could be there in our country at 35 years of age. Imagine if you get this disease 10 years earlier, you're going to live with disease for 10 more years and your suffering is going to be even more. Right? So that's the magnitude of the problem. So the big question is, how can we tackle this endemic? How do we make our environment safe? 
the future of our children safe. Time is running out and we need to act now. The production or the release of pollutants in the atmosphere is the same in the summer also, other season also. But in rainy season, in generally the pollutants will be less because rain will wash out the pollutants from the atmosphere. So air purification is required in 365 days because this is designed for in your house only, not for outside. In your house, there are pollutants. Pollutants from outside also will come. Pollutants generated in your house also there. That is not a seasonal. Pollutants from the outside maybe it go up in the upper atmosphere, but pollutants which you generate in your house, which you won't go to the upper atmosphere, it will be accumulated in your room. Realizing the importance of keeping the indoor environment clean, Mudita and Lalit is one couple who is working hard towards providing a safer and secure home to their children. Their one-year-old, Heyan, is getting all the care that a child should get amidst this soaring air pollution. For Mudita as a mother, tidiness in the house is of utmost importance and she makes no compromise when it comes to her child's health. First thing, I think uh, uh, we have made it as a kind of a ritual in the house that whenever we are going out, we keep our indoor shoes separate and then we have our shoe racks right beside the uh, doors, out, outdoor. So whenever we are going out, we, we take out our shoes and then you know keep our indoor shoes inside those racks and then go out. And same way whenever we are coming back in to the house so that all the dust and everything stays in the right there in the shoe racks. Secondly, while feeding him also, I make sure that most of the times I am not using uh, more of plastics, right? I avoid using plastics, so I use more of glass and more of steel utensils. For his toys and all, uh, whatever soft toys he has, so I make sure that I wash them frequently, maybe twice in a month or thrice in a month, so depending upon how dirty do they get. So I wash them with soap and then dry them out. Whereas for Lalit, buying this proper ventilated house nine years back was always on top of his mind. A well thought decision that has worked to improve indoor air quality in his home. I thought it's good for my kids because that time I was like I had a daughter which she was she was one year old. So I was planning to give her something uh, which is good for her health. So which requires a lot of things like uh, uh, there has to be trees around and uh, it has to be ventilated, right? So this is one of the house which I found appropriate for, for my kids' health. But despite all these efforts, there has been an increase in the number of visits of their children to the doctor because of aggravating air pollution levels in Delhi NCR. And the parents very well know that precautions need to be taken at every single step. I'm keeping a pure air purifier already uh, in my room, so I, I keep it on for in, during the day and during the night time. And to spread awareness about harmful indoor pollution effects, Bal Bharti Public School Rohini has come up with a unique initiative to sensitize its students. Most of you are now using kerosene oil heaters at home. That leads to pollution. When we don't have ventilators and windows or even if we have the windows and ventilators we don't open it in the morning that leads to pollution if we don't have air purifying plants on our bed head that leads to pollution so there are so many things in a bid to fight this menace grandparents of school children came forward to support this cause apart from discussing how to avoid pollution at home the initiative also witnessed students distributing house plants, an effective tool to counter indoor air pollution. This uh, function, we have been able to gather some more information regarding environment by keeping these small plants and uh, in the kitchen or in bedroom, we will be able to get fresh air. There are a lot of plants which are very good at trapping the formaldehydes, the carbon dioxides the uh, pH and they can be converted into nutrients for them and they can absorb them which is very good for a small family living. 
The school has also kept air purifiers in their classes and even conducts various awareness sessions on how to tackle the emission from various indoor pollutants. But one of the most interesting sessions they have come up with is the mask making workshop where children learn how to make masks themselves and fight the pollution battle in their own capacity. This year we have done a lot of fusion of scholastic and co-scholastic uh, areas and we are trying to teach things to children through performing arts and visual arts. So what we did in this respect also is that we are having activities like Nukhanatak's, small activities like bookmark making, slogan writing, mask making, whereby the focus and the theme for all these activities has been kept as indoor pollution. 15-year-old Madhav is very conscious about taking extra precautions when he goes back home from school. It's the small steps such as removing his shoes outside his house and making sure he washes his hands and face when he comes back from outside prove to be significant in avoiding any thriving of germs in the house. These precautionary measures have become the need of the hour and his family too understands the gravity of the situation. The main cause of pollution inside our house is the dirt that we bring in and that mostly comes from, comes from the clothes and the shoes we wear. Every time we come out from outside, we wash our hands and faces. We try to minimize the opening of refrigerator door for a long time so that whatever pollutants, because these are gases, the coolants work on various polluting gases and the more we open it, more it keeps. I do not use any air fresheners in the house because that and again leaves a lot of chemicals in the air which are not good for us. Apart from the children, today's youngsters have also become the victims of indoor air pollution. Meet these sporting freaks who are doing their bit in order to monitor indoor air quality at their fitness center. Over the years, gymnasiums have proven to be the host of various pollutant particles such as dust and formaldehyde that can worsen the indoor air quality. But if you take right precautions and measures, then you can definitely lead a healthy lifestyle. Keeping air pollution in mind, we, we have purifiers inside. Secondly, we don't allow any dust from outside, so people carry their separate training shoes. Third, we modified our training program. We are more focusing on mobility and strength rather than cardio exercises. Any athlete or any sports person or who is doing extra exercise will certainly be uh, breathing 10 to 20 percent more okay, air. Okay? And that means that more air going in, more muck is going inside. And that's going to cause huge amount of lung injury. And that's why we have to save ourselves from that. In this day and age, there is a need to have pure air in the environment we live in. Be it home or be it schools or even be it any office. With alarming increase in the indoor air pollution and airborne diseases, it's in our hands to keep our surroundings clean. We spend about 90% of our lives indoors and just about 10% outdoors. So when you look at that, the air inside, according to WHO, is 10 to 80 times, 10 to 80 times more polluted than the air outside. And we say we go out for a breath of fresh air. Actually, you're going out, you know, it's, it's actually a breath of fresh air because inside the room, the air is horrible. And we've been trying to protect this. So 20 years ago, we launched a line of air purification systems. Ever since we've been studying the air quality, we've been monitoring it, and we've been mapping it from different places. With no concrete action plan working to curb air pollution, people are resorting to air purifiers like AeroGuard to make sure that the air they breathe indoors is at least not detrimental to their health. There are various types of air purifier available. There are various added advantage of uh, air purifiers. I think there are dehumidifications available. There are 
uh, it could maintain the temperature uh, well it could take care of the particulate matters it could ca take care of the uh, ionically charged uh, particles it does help indoor pollutants like cooking fumes dust trapped in footwear settled particles in sofas and beds danders of pets at home and hairsprays though have become integral parts of our daily living but their adverse effects on health are long lasting and need special techniques to be flushed out we have incorporated a multiple technologies from the filtration of particles then to the molecular level adsorption and uh, electro photoelectrochemical oxidation technologies which is the latest technologies all the technologies we incorporated to remove the uh, airborne pollutants from the atmosphere from your room especially this product is designed aerogard is designed with a different models from a 100 square feet to 1100 square feet area room size now this purification process is a uh, based in different stages so in aerogard we have a nine stages of purification process and uh, which will tackle from the bigger particles which is suspended in the air we call it as a suspended particulate matter to a particulate matter of 2.5 micron level plus it can remove the organic impurities like uh, volatile organics and formaldehyde uh, pollution in the room and plus microorganisms which are present in the room which are very harmful for human body climatic conditions like in india that vary from extreme hot to freezing cold with different levels of humidity in different parts of the country it becomes incumbent and technologically dependent to tackle this challenge we've got so many different technologies which we've incorporated studying indian air which is customized so you know air in india as you will know is breezy and grimy it's very different from air in europe or air in the us it's very different because it's got particles which are of a different category now these have to be understood you create a line of filters exactly for these specific problems so some of the features we have for instance are we have a duotron feature which protects the air not just when it passes through the filters but even kills bacteria and virus in the air itself so we've got this we've got a series of filters which are you know uh, uh, are swiss hepa filters which are made in in you know with 99.97% protection against microorganisms pm 2.5 particles we remove all the vocs from the air we kill bacteria and viruses in the air india is the fourth largest manufacturer of cars in the world there are thousands of people in metro cities who spend hours in sedans while commuting from one destination to another A safe ride is not all about plying on four wheels with running AC to keep you cool but the quality of air inside the vehicle is a critical factor too Initially I used to have I used to face a lot of issues when while driving but after using the air purifier I am feeling quite a, a major difference and uh, I am not very I don't feel that asthmatic This is an awakening call for all of us to protect not only us but each other from the ill effects of indoor air pollution so come forward and be the part of the change and let's fight this menace together i i i i i i, I, I take the beat life pledge to protect my family from indoor air pollution <laughs>